So you take your big loop, fold it in half. You'll kind of see, this This is old string, so you can see the, where the creases and stuff are. Uh, you're going to fold it in half, keep your loops together, right at the bottom of your knot, and right about your middle point. Run your ribbon through. Okay, so, got all that done. Run the ribbon through the neck. Um, another note about Bobobies is when I got mine from the junkie spot, he came with both his arms and his leg strings put up around onto his S hook. Mm, excuse me. That made his torso posing a little, not torso, his head posing on his neck a little bit needlessly complicated to me. So uh, what I did was, after sending off a quick email to somebody that knew better than I, like I said, that's the awesome thing about this community, is there's always somebody that knows better than you, um, that uh, it's not really necessary to keep both strings up on the hook, uh, unless you like it, unless, you, unless your neck starts flopping around on you, in which case having that much more elastic in the neck might prove useful, but it's not, it doesn't seem terribly likely to me. That's not something... That's not something I could. I saw myself recreating particularly easily, so I just, you know, didn't on my subsequent restrings, and I won't. And I won't be doing that this time either. Um, so, with this hook, uh, the big part goes around the knots, and the little part just is what you're gonna you're gonna grab onto when you uh, put his head back on. Or another nice thing about this being a hook. This is a good loop, so you can actually use your same ribbon, grab under the loop, to give you something a little bit better to grab onto to pull, put the head back on. But Okay, so, hook on, pull it through, tug on it a little bit, make sure everything's secure. After you hook the loops up here, you want to make sure these two lengths are the same. And then, since he has a three-part torso, he's got these extra parts. Uh, so just want to make sure you get everything on the right sides. So this is only one one hole, so this goes right through. You know, it goes out to a big hole at the bottom. And then his crotch part, or butt part, depending on what you want to do, um, has these two holes here. So that's, that's where you want to split your string. So one side goes through. And the other side goes through. So that gets everything put together nice. So, onward to the legs. Gonna grab from this side just because it's in my way. Um, now with his legs, they don't have those nice marks that those are that the arms did. Um, but if you look at your, if you get your parts mixed up for whatever reason, you'll notice one side of this is kind of straighter, and this side kind of bulges out a bit on this side. This goes on the inside. So this, I'm holding his, his left leg right now, but it's, when you look at him, it's on his right side. So run your ribbon again. Ribbon is a beautiful thing. And then you run it through. Might get hung up on some of the rough resin bits on the inside, but it's not a huge deal. That's why you use a lot of ribbon, so you can just keep pushing. Better have too much ribbon than too little. I'm going to loop this over his arm up to his shoulder. It sends him a little cockeyed, but we'll fix that when we string the other side. That's just to keep it out of my way and keep it from getting pulled through the rest of his torso. Run this through here, and run this through here, and then the tug, We hook and we release.
And we put the foot on before we let go of the string. This kind of hurts. Don't let go of your ribbon until you put your feet on. Don't worry about front and back. Just make sure you got your correct side, which I grabbed the wrong side at first. Okay, and then release. So he's got his leg on now. I'm kind of hurrying on this last clip on these legs because I am running out of time on the camera. So, again, ribbon through. Thread it through. Thread it through the knee joint. Thread it through the calf joint. And pull. Ooh, this is going to be a tricky one. Try to have a little time to struggle with it. See, it's not twitching around up there. That's just me pulling on the... string. Pull, pull. Come on, get in there. Finally, I actually had to, had, had to call my dad in here. Whoops, I hit the camera with my chair. Okay, stupid rolly chairs. Wait, I don't mean that. Anyway, rolly chairs are awesome. But anyway, I had to call my dad in for the last foot because I didn't have enough hands. I needed one good strong hand to hold the string out from the foot so I could get the hook on and then get the foot on. But he's all together. Uh, he's much tighter now than he was which I am currently evaluating the necessity of, which I think will be awesome. It's a little uneven because of all the pulling I had to do on the other side to get that hooked. So, uh, the important thing when you're stringing is, yes, tightness is, you know, good to an extent. There is a such thing as too tight. Um, the um, it can be so tight, and I have seen, heard of some dolls actually being shipped so tight that the ball and the foot was pushing against the end of the shin part, and was actually making the resin split from ex extended period of time of tension. Um, and there is a such thing as making the tension so tight that you can't get the head on. But I have some clearance space here. It'll be, it'll be a little bit of a struggle. I won't be able to do it by hand anymore. But um, as long as I keep a piece of ribbon with me anytime I think I might have to take his head off, I should be okay. That's pretty much part for the course. Um, he sits the same as he ever, do, ever did. Um, his joints are a lot better now. So if you're having problems with your posability on your Bobobi three-point torso body, um... I don't even know if they make the two-part torso bodies anymore, but, um, you know, maybe some extreme tightness is in order. Uh, but yeah, he's, cause he's, I'm much more happy with him now than I was before. Um, his arms are still a little floppy, but I've been planning on putting some kips in him for ages. So once I get the money to be able to order those, I'm going to do that cause the, I'll see that as a beginning stage before I go through all the process of Sweating him. Um, so yeah. Um, I think that's all I've got. Just a matter of wiggling him until his strings even out a little bit. I think if I go like this a bit, it might loosen up. Maybe, possibly. I just keep tugging on it. Um, 
but yeah, that's all I've got. So thanks for watching. So we're all set. He's a little dis, you know, his body has been disembedded. Whatever. Um, his body is, his head has been disembodied for some time, most of the day anyway. So Wheatley and I say, well, Wheatley's head and I say, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully this is informative for somebody that needs the help. Um, and see you later. Bye bye. That should do it. Okay, turns out I'm not done with this video, as I previously had thought. Because I figured out how to even this out, which I figure might be some useful information. Um, see, now when I pull on these, they seem pretty even. What I was doing was, I have my my ribbon. This time I actually did loop it around just so I can make sure it stayed put so it didn't slip off. Because this is the metal hook, I'm not worried about it like getting so tight around the string that it's not going to let go. Um, I just grabbed onto the hook and just pulled. And kept kept pulling, see, so it made his leg go. But I just grabbed this and pulled. And if you listen close, if you're in a quiet room, you can actually kind of hear the string shifting on the hooks in his feet and shifting around a little bit through the body. That'll help even it out. So if you have a situation where you just restrung a doll and one leg's one leg is being kickier than the other, one that one leg is floppier. Uh, that might be your solution, to just take his head off, his or her head off, and pull. Just, you know, pull it around, and it should, when you get to the full apex, if you will, maximum stretch of the string, it'll try to compensate for itself a bit by sliding around, evening itself out. Uh, but, you know, that's just another random thing, mm, excuse me, that I literally just discovered. I thought it might be useful for somebody. Um, but yeah, again, Wheatley and I say goodbye. Wheatley's disembodied head. So, see ya!